Hi guys, so it seems that NatWest has issued an apology to Nigel Farage over the closure of his Coots account. The CEO, Dame Alison Rose, made a public statement on Thursday apologising for how the subsidiary had handled the matter. They then offered him a new NatWest account. Now the snake oil salesman later issued his own statement where he was clearly upset with the apology. And it's not clear if he will have his old Coots account reinstated or he will just be given a new NatWest one. But following all of this, Farage supporters were calling for a boycott, and Calvin McKenzie, the former editor of The Scum, seemed to call on Brexit voters to abandon the bank. Oh my God, have a listen to this. So the next thing I am fantastically looking forward to is Dame Alison Rose being pushed out of a job, because the idea that the CEO of Coots can wake up one day and say, I must throw old Nigel out, I've never liked his politics anyway, and did it on his own account, and didn't call upstairs to say to the CEO, look, I want to do this, what do you think, Alison? And Rose says, I tell you what, go for your life. It's an incredible situation, and what they don't like, the banks, of course, is that all the politicians have piled in, with the exception of one party. Have you heard Starmer? Have you heard Reeve? Have you heard them all coming out saying, well done, Nigel. Thank you for standing up for every account holder who doesn't have politics that agree with, quotes, your bank. My advice to NatWest customers who voted, who voted leave is my advice is you should try and head to Barclays, HSBC, go somewhere else because clearly you're unwanted within that corporation. It's an absolute disgrace and I can't congratulate Farage enough. Oh God, this sycophancy is disgusting. Um, why are you trying to cancel the bank? I thought GB News and The Sun were against cancelling people and organisations. So when they do something that you don't like, well, you try to cancel them. Okay. Um, now, why did this happen? Well, it seems, I'm maybe I'm putting on a tinfoil hat here, but it seems that there was political pressure applied. The Prime Minister himself complained about this, and the Home Secretary complained about this on behalf of Nigel Farage. You also had two MPs in the House of Commons on Wednesday complaining on behalf of Nigel Farage. So I imagine there was some political pressure applied to the bank and they uh, issued an apology. Now, is it going to change any policy? I don't think so. Um, there has been some rumour about new legislation being brought in to, to punish the banks if they, don't, uh, issue, uh, if they don't issue accounts to people who have dodgy backgrounds <laughs> politically. Um, look, this doesn't affect most people. It just affected Nigel Farage. This would be legislation designed for one individual who isn't even a Tory. Just think about that for a moment. I said this before, it's a case of the tail wagging the dog here. Nigel Farage sneezes and uh, the entire Conservative Party catches a cold. You know, he says, run in this direction, and they ask how fast. He says, jump, they say, how high. It's ridiculous, it's pathetic. And unfortunately, the media have piled in on this as well. Maybe for clicks and driving traffic to their websites, I don't know. But it's... a uh, it's disgraceful. There's, you have a right-wing politician who's been responsible for xenophobic rhetoric since he's been a politician, um, being criticised over that. A bank saying, allegedly, a bank saying, look, we want to distance ourselves from that type of individual, that type of rhetoric. We want to support a, a more inclusive uh, clientele. These are banks, okay? They're financial institutions. They're profit-driven. They, if they if they think there's money to be made, appearing more humanitarian, then they'll do that. They don't really care about humanitarian um, cases or uh, policies. They do it for the money. But if they see somebody like Nigel Farage is tarnishing them, then they'll get rid of him. That's within their rights. They have a code of conduct. Um, and if they think that a certain individual be it in the bank or outside the bank with some connection to the bank is going to tarnish their image, then they'll cut that person free. <sighs> but we're still talking about this. Why the heck are we still talking about this? 
Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.